Good evening everybody and welcome to the video. I'm very excited to show you an amazing demo of multi-region architecture on AWS using API Gateway and Lambda. So the goal here is essentially as application grows, right? traditional APIs essentially fail to, uh, to scale uh, based on the demand. right? So we want to design an architecture that is resilient enough, that can scale massively. We want to make sure it's highly available. It's so this uh, entire two weeks I was studying and watching videos from um, architecture from Auth0 architecture by Netflix. How, how did they implement? I did learn everything by myself and I would like to show you a small demo. So essentially I made a very simple API. This API is deployed in two regions, uh, Ohio and North Virginia. I used a very simple uh, serverless, um, I used serverless framework to deploy this API. And then essentially after watching all of these, I was able to uh, figure this out. So let me just show you quickly. Um, the model is very similar and, and I'll make a deep dive video shortly. So please bear with me. Uh, the model says that, you know, have your API deployed in multiple region, in this case, US East 1 and US East 2. Uh, each API is essentially, you know, doing the same thing, hitting the Lambda and, you know, fetching some data and yada, yada, yada. Now the goal is essentially to register a domain name and then essentially use route 53 to, to route the traffic to the appropriate um, uh, API gateway, right? So that's that's sort of, that's what we'd want to do. So just to, just to show you, I have a very simple, uh, you know, just I was learning as I said, right? So I, I made a simple uh, API, right? Uh, as you can see, uh, this API, then I essentially deployed to, I said SLS deploy region is equal to US East 1. So I deployed in US East 1, SLS deploy uh, region US East 2. So I deployed my API essentially in Ohio and North Virginia. So if I go to North uh, Virginia, uh, uh, that is US East 1, I have the API, uh, as you can see, I go to API, I have that, right? Now, if I switch my region and go to Ohio, that is US East 2, I have the same API here as well. Now, in my last video, I did taught you guys how to create a domain name, right? Custom domain name for API Gateway. So I'm not gonna repeat how to do that. Uh, I'll leave the links here. Then what I did is essentially, I created an A-type routing with 120% weightage. Uh, we could also do a fail uh, in the next part. I'll try to essentially show you uh, when a particular region fails, right? Let's say your API in US East 1 fail. You want to route all the traffic back to US West or US East 2, right? You want to route all your traffic to Ohio servers. So all of that is possible, right? So as you can see, sawmilshire.com, sawmilshire.com, I created an A-type record, right? So essentially uh, weighted, right, 120. Uh, this points to my domain name of my API gateway, as you can see. Uh, it's a little hard to see. Uh, let me do one thing. I'll keep my webcam here. So as you can see here, if I zoom out a little bit, so this one points to the US East 1 and this one points to the US East 2, right? So we did that and then essentially, uh, as you can see the test result, I was invoking through Postman. I was trying to invoke this through uh, here. So here I got from US East 2, here I got from US East 1. So now as you can see, right, we are essentially learning to build architecture that is resilient enough, highly available. We need millions of requests, you know, you wanna, so this architecture you can deploy in multiple region and then, uh, you know, the, the Route 53 will route the traffic to the appropriate region. And that way you can get more number of RPS, that is request per second. Um, so this is a very nice demo as I can see, uh, as, as you can see, right? Uh, when I go to my domain name, uh, yeah, now it's hitting US East 2, right? And if I go to my browser, the same domain, not sure which one is now it's, this one is being served to US East 1. As you can see, right? So now it's essentially routing my traffic very efficiently, right? Now I can add a third server, for example, US to West 1, US to West 2. I can route based on that, right? Uh, not only that, with the power AWS offers, now you could do geolocation, which means if somebody is coming, if a request is coming from Ohio, I want to direct them to the Ohio, Ohio um, API. Or if someone is coming from North Virginia, I want to route it to the nearest location. So I have the best performance, right, at scale. So you could do that. There's a failover model, which means uh, if a particular health check fails, then it will automatically route all the traffic to a particular another region, right? So all of that is possible uh, with uh, Route 53, uh, API Gateway, Lambda, right? You could do all these amazing, beautiful things, right? So um, I'm extremely happy because I have been, you know, no, 
I'm a self-taught person, right? I love reading. I I have read a lot of blogs, articles, watched a lot of YouTube videos, have been kept reading, reading, reading. I had issues, but I didn't give up, right? A lot of times I had error. I'm like, it's not working. It's not working. But I went to Stack Overflow. I asked some of my friends. I'm like, oh, how do I do this? I'm stuck at this point. But I kept going. And eventually, after two weeks, I was able to figure out this architecture, right? And um, as you can see, uh, just last couple of thoughts here. Uh, so I have an architecture. Um, so essentially, uh, this model is adopted by Netflix and Auth0. So if you come to my YouTube channel, I recently uploaded a video. So I just want to show you really quick without wasting any further time. Uh, this would be here, uh, reading and learning resources for multi-region architecture. Netflix has ad adopted this uh, architecture, right? So if you see, uh, if I, so as you can see, right? Uh, so what I was also trying and I had an issue here was, um, so my next uh, goal is essentially to have a alias for uh, each uh, API gateway. So what I mean by that is say, this is my region one, right? So I want to have api.useast1.somilshare.com right so that's my first do um, domain then api dot uh, sorry api.usvest1 right and this is my second region here they want to have i want to have a top level domain that is api.somilshare.com which will route to my alias right here and which will eventually route to my api gateway so i want to opt for this model as well uh, which is shown in the you know um, which is shown by netflix but uh, really great i'm really really enjoying uh, you know learning and about all these auto scaling multi region architecture it's just pretty beautiful thank you so much for watching uh, in the upcoming videos i'll try to create step by step guide right which means i'll show you okay now click this button now click that button that's how you would do it right uh, what I want to say is if you have errors and stuff, don't give up, man. People are ready to help you on the internet. All you got to do is just ask them, right? Um, there will be times you'll be frustrated. You'll be like, ah, nothing is working. All you got to do, close your computer, try next day. Little bit every day will make you uh, achieve that part. That's what I did. Uh, last weekend, I, Saturday, I tried for four hours, didn't work. I stopped it. Sunday, again, I tried for three hours, didn't work. Posted on Stack Overflow, asked a couple of my friends, kept on trying every day, one hour, one hour, one hour. I watched so many videos, but I figured it out eventually, right? That's the way to go. Thank you so much for watching. Keep smiling, keep programming. See you guys next time.